Hello, today's video is on stock number 32307TL, uh, the RJ45, RJ12, RJ11 crimp tool with cable tester. Uh, mostly going to just talk about the unique features of this. Um, you know, that, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you have a cable cutter for flat. It will only do flat cable. Uh, stripper. On the other side it does have a true cable cutter so you can cut. Uh, it does have, this is a mechanical release. If you're crimped halfway through, it's ratcheting and you want to stop at some point, you can simply grab that twist and it will allow you to unratchet. Uh, then you get to the cable tester. So let me let me let me cover this part. Uh, they are removable. I'll see if I can get it here. There's a little tab there. Okay, a little tab on this side. You would press on both sides and you have to gently kind of work it out. It's in there nice and tight. And it will slide out. Uh, this is where the batteries go. Uh, there's a little center raised ridged area. You can simply press that, slide it back to install or replace the batteries. They use a LR44, three of them, and uh, polarity is marked on the inside PC board, minus and plus. Watch, you know, obviously watch your polarity. Make sure you get the batteries in correctly. And to put the battery cover back on, like I said, be careful. There's a very small little catch tab. Slide it, press, and it will, it will catch. To reinstall it, uh, there again, press the little tabs, line it up, hold in the little tabs, and it will slide back and, and snap into place for you. Uh, if you press the button now with no cables attached, uh, just simply nothing happens. There, it, it's looking for a simple continuity tester. It does not test the speed of a cable. So we've got these nice shielded patch cords. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Press the button once and you will see it will go through the entire 8 pins and, and G for ground. That's just pressing it once. Uh, let me replace this good cable with a bad one. I went ahead and, uh, see if you can see this here, cut and twisted the blue and the blue white just so we can see what happens. If you press and hold for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, it will run through six times and as you can see, it gets to four and five, it flips back and forth, you, you can let you know that it is, it is a uh, miswired. Uh, let's just go ahead and open this up. You see it, it skips. Very simple continuity tester. And this side is also removable. Same step, uh, press in the little tabs on each side and, and carefully slide it out. Do not ever force it. Okay, that is a very basic operations of this part. Uh, thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, let us know. Have a good day.